Hello, my name is James Tromans and I am a Technical Director within Google Cloud's CTO office. Well, Capital Markets has a long and rich history of automation and quantitative analysis within the front office, especially around market making and sales related activities. So while I think that there is certainly a role for machine learning and AI to play in this space, some of the lower hanging fruit is actually in the middle and back office. For example, automation of some of the more manual um, activities around uh, trade failures and settlements or predicting when those things will actually happen, which can free up balance sheet for better use elsewhere within the firm. So one thing's for sure, in the case of capital markets, the best outcomes for machine learning and AI is still where a human is in the loop, which means those firms that are able to dissolve the boundary between the business, trading and sales, and technology that has historically supported those businesses, so that they can effectively build machine learning and AI models well together, are going to lead to the best outcomes in the medium to long run. So capital market firms have long benefited from having quantitative technical business people um, that are building automated systems um, for the last 20, 30 years. However, modern machine learning and AI is now much more accessible and when combined with cloud is going to enable non-technical business stakeholders to build state-of-the-art baseline AI models that if the human experts are not able to surpass, it enables them to focus on areas where they can add value, they can add alpha, such as core differentiated market making activities, in addition to, to building a better white glove customer experience. But this means that AI will still find its way into other areas that were historically deemed too low value for the human experts to be spending their time. So this is gonna see more proliferation of machine learning in these other areas within capital markets.